In this video, I'm going to give you a few of the tips which I have learned over the past couple of years for tackling large projects in Blender. While this is mainly focused on 3D art, you can bring across these tips in other areas of life too. It's a great skill set to work on developing overall. I myself have worked on a lot of fairly large projects, both purely hours-wise with my short films, and scale-wise with projects like this Howl's Moving Castle one, which we're going to take a look at for one last time in this video before moving on to tackle some new stuff. So, how do you keep going for weeks, months, and up to hundreds of hours for a singular project, which actually impresses friends when you show it to them? <laughs> 3D. <laughs> Whoa, that's technology. <laughs> that is technology. Well, the first point which I would like to cover is regarding project vision. In order to jumpstart a project and get yourself interested in working on it, having a vision of what you want to create can be very beneficial. I know that sometimes spontaneous projects with no plan turn out great and work better for some people, but this video is focusing on a more consistent and implementable system. For me, developing project vision can be as low effort as grabbing a series of reference images on Purif as a sort of detailed mood board, or sometimes I will sketch out my project from different angles on paper, or make little stickman sketches of all the scenes I want to capture if it's for a short film, exactly like a film storyboard. The point is, having a direction, even if vague, is very good. A sub-point of this too is to not be too afraid of changing that vision when inevitably you're working on the project and realise that some things were not advisable or are out of scope. Primarily, it is a general rule that you'll always overestimate how good things will look slash how doable things are when creating your grand vision. Aside from educating yourself on the technical aspects, the best thing you can do is to just learn from doing more and more projects, and this problem will lessen over time. I'd just like to briefly mention the project files for this gargantuan model are available pretty cheap on my Ko-Fi page if you're interested in checking that out. Your guys' support over there and here on YouTube has been really nice, so thank you so much, and let's get back to the video. Next, I would like to say that milestones are a very important thing to implement into your project workflow. If it's a modeling project like this one, it'll be something like segmenting the different pieces of the models into tasks which are doable over a few hours instead of an elongated time period, and for a short film it can simply be setting up and animating each scene one after another. This is partially for organisation, but primarily to keep up your momentum throughout the project. Some people are quote built different, however a lot of us struggle to throw ourselves against a single mammoth project task for days or weeks on end without those subtasks, unless we are extremely passionate about the outcome. Therefore, these milestones are a very good way to make sure that the progress stays more consistent. For this house moving castle project, each building section took between half an hour to four hours each, and I would certainly go back and add extra detail later on, but each piece was at least mostly done before moving on, which also allowed me to grab pieces and copy and paste them around a bit to create quick variations in a much more timely manner. Now lastly, a short and less practical point, but an important one nonetheless. Don't let the vision and the milestones overwhelm you and get mad at yourself too much if you're struggling to make what you want to make. The struggle is the growth and I myself spent over a year floundering around and creating extremely basic and underwhelming things when I was first learning Blender. You just can't let it extinguish your creative spark, so keep your head up and keep looking forward to the stuff you'll be able to create next, as well as the end result of what you're working on right now. Thanks so much for watching guys, this video has been very slow in the making and this is the longest break I've taken from posting on YouTube in a while. It's been exam season here and I've been too lazy to work on YouTube videos in the free time I've had. The most I've done are some mini Blender projects. Worry not, I have one or two more videos at least lined up for this year, but as we come to the end of the year, I will be winding down and resting a bit over the break. However, next year I hope to return and create another fun season of content for you guys. In general, I like to keep posting even at the times where I don't feel like it, otherwise I would have stopped long ago and regretted it. However, if I feel that I don't have videos or the time to make videos which provide some value or at least some kind of new info, it's probably not worth anybody's time, so I hope you can understand that. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. It's been Yizen, goodbye.